here at the HT Skate Park, um, one of the questions I've always been asking myself and uh, other right. people have been asking the same thing is, what is actually the second lens for? Well, that's our dual camera technology. And really that is our sort of first foray into what we're calling information imaging. Yeah. Right? So basically it's a camera that's really a smart camera now that goes with a smartphone. So yeah. the, the camera actually really sort of sees like you do. It's got, yeah. you know, essentially two eyes and a brain behind it. And yeah. It's the brain now that we're leveraging a lot more on the camera. And so what the camera does is it actually sees the scene and with one exposure essentially adds value to each of the pixels and understands what it's seeing. Yeah. So we're initially using it as range data and there are other potentials for it too. But that data then can be manipulated in many different ways. And one of the first spin-offs we're finding is we can start replicating like, you know, the effects of like sort of higher end glass you would get in a more sort of dedicated um, camera platform like an SLR or something, a digital yeah. SLR. So you know those sort of real sort of shallow depth of field shots yeah, yeah. that are difficult to replicate in apps or you know just impossible for lenses to do on smartphones well we can pretty much do those with one touch almost on this you know just with the uh, u focus ability you can create like stunning portraits like uh, all these great great kids here at the park and you can see here it's a, it's a great shot anyway nicely exposed with yeah. the pixel sensor and also another advantage of the system is you can actually uh, refocus after the picture so with the u focus ability you, know, you could actually obviously focus on this guy here, but you can focus on somewhere else in the picture and highlight that part of the scene. So we've noticed that actually some of our competitors are doing something similar. What is the difference between the HG One M8 compared to some of the competitors? Well, now, we do it with one exposure. So if there's any movement in there, we don't get any ghosting effects as okay. well. So essentially it's like one exposure, we get all the information we need and then we can manipulate that. What happens is if you get a blur from someone moving or other object changes, yeah. you know, then you, you have issues with, with that. And also, like I said, we're only just scratched the surface of information imaging now. There's yeah. a lot more we can do with the data. So if you think that, you know, since you might think of it, it's a smart camera, yeah. you know, that it, it, it sees the world and understands it to a degree. And, you know, as we could continue to update that intelligence essentially behind the camera, um, you know, with Google Play, you know, we'll be doing updates, refreshes, and you know, just more and more features and ability, capability will come down to the, to yeah. the camera.